witnesses, we thank you for being here. And after our witness testimony, senators will have five minutes of, of questions. Today we're meeting to discuss the growing epidemic in this country of opioid abuse and overdose. The term opioid includes prescription opioid painkillers like hydrocodone and morphine and also the illegal drug heroin. Some people can become addicted to prescription opioid painkillers and the illegal drug heroin is highly addictive, placing people at risk for overdose. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, prescription opioid painkiller abuse may lead to heroin abuse. Dr. Tom Frieden, the director of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, said the heroin epidemic is a one-two punch. First, a growing number of people are exposed to and become addicted to prescription opioid painkillers, which he said primes people for heroin addiction later. And then the second punch is accessibility to heroin has increased. The number of prescription opioid painkillers prescribed to patients in the United States has skyrocketed in the last 25 years from 76 million in 1991 to nearly 207 million in 2013. Sadly, along with that trend, we've seen a staggering increase in overdose deaths in the United States due to prescription opioid painkillers, which have more than tripled over the last 15 years. Additionally, the number of heroin users has doubled since 2005 and reached 670,000 in 2012 and continues to trend upward, taking more than 8,200 lives in 2013 alone. In September, Dr. Frieden came to Knoxville, where we hosted a roundtable with local physicians, community leaders, and public health officials on ways to fight opioid abuse. He said then was that opioid abuse is a growing epidemic that is gripping our country. Tennessee ranks near the top of the list for prescription drug abuse, which includes opioids, with the third highest rate of abuse in the nation. According to a 2011 survey, more than 69,000 people in our state were estimated to be addicted to prescription opioid painkillers, and more than 1,000 Tennesseans die each year as a result of drug overdose. The state is taking a number of actions to deal with it, including dealing with a practice of call, of called doctor shopping, uh, those seeking prescription opioid painkillers going to multiple doctors, uh, at our September roundtable, Dr. Frieden announced that Tennessee was one of 16 states to receive funding through the CDC, $3.4 million over four years to help the state continue this fight. At the roundtable, we heard from Austin Maxwell, a father who lost his son to prescription opioid painkiller overdose just days before that son planned to head to college and walk on to practice with the school's football team. I know I'm not alone in hearing about these challenges. Senator Collins has talked about this uh, uh, often. The truth is it affects all of our states. Senators Ayotte and Manchin have led a group of nine senators in highlighting the damage of this epidemic. Last month, the president signed into law protecting our Infants Act of 2015. Came out of this committee, uh, Senator McConnell, Senator Casey, a member of the committee, Senator Ayotte, all worked hard on that. There's a lot of interest in addressing this problem, as you can see by the number of senators here today. I look forward to our conversation. Uh, here's an example of maybe one of the things we can look into. Uh, at our Knoxville Roundtable, uh, Representative Bill Dunn, a state representative, told me that the patient satisfaction survey for Medicare patients actually has the perverse effect of encouraging physicians to overprescribe prescription opioid painkillers because reimbursement for hospitals are based to some extent on the score that patients give their doctors about how well they're satisfied with the treatment. I talked to Secretary Burwell about that, and in late October, President Obama, in his speech in West Virginia, announced his willingness to review the patient satisfaction survey. So I was glad to see this direct response from the administration to a suggestion that came from our round table in Knoxville. This is a complex problem. It calls for action by all those who have a role in it. We know recovery from opioid abuse can be a long and challenging road. We look forward to our witnesses today as they tell us about the challenges they face and suggest that they face and suggest solutions that we can help with. Senator Murray. Well, thank you very much, Chairman Alexander, and to all of our witnesses, thank you for coming today to share 